one, two, three. All right, so today we're gonna start off our vlog. Actually, you know what? We'll just say, welcome back. I mean, I feel like I haven't been on camera in a long time. It's been a minute. Let's walk. Let's walk and talk. I've took so much time off to like rebuild and revamp myself personally, and that's where I've been. So I've been working on rebuilding my own personal foundation. But with that said, I feel ready to come back on camera. I feel ready to come back to work on premium and to just chat with you guys on a regular basis. Uh, vlogging, being on camera. When you're going through times in your life where you feel maybe a little more self-conscious because I was digging deep in myself, I kind of pulled away from the camera. I didn't want to be on camera. I didn't want to vlog. I didn't want to, I mean, I just detached myself from a lot of things, but I feel like you have to do that. You have to detach sometimes to grow. And that's what I did, that's what I've done. And I think you guys are gonna notice that in this series. In this series of videos that we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna go deep. We're gonna change it up a little bit. You know, I'm gonna bring some of my outside life into the videos and just show you what I do on my day-to-day -day basis. You know, I own a business, um, I have kids, um, all of those things, but you know, premium is not just who I am. I think a lot of people hit me up all the time or I see people out on the road, they're like, premium! It's cool, it means a lot to me, but there's so much more that I love to show you guys uh, my day to day. And I think that for some of you guys, it's gonna be impactful. You know, there's times in some of your guys' lives that where things are changing. And um, I wanna be a part of sharing my experiences of changes. So that's what this series of videos is gonna be like. So once or twice a week, Andy and I are gonna film together. We're gonna create these videos where maybe we're not in the wrap shop. Maybe we're at the barber shop, because that's where we are today. About to go get a haircut. Boy's looking pretty bad. But we're gonna come out looking good. So we'll say what up to Chris. So Chris has been cutting my hair for probably like 10 years now almost. And um, I've seen his business grow, so I get to be a part of his growth. He's been a part of mine. I've wrapped a couple cars for him. But let me tell you guys a little, little secret, a little uh, business tip. Become friends with your barber, because they talk to everybody. And that's what they do all day. You know, so Chris always refers people to premium. He's probably sent me 30 clients over the years, you know, and I, I'm not exaggerating because people sit in his seat every day and he just chops it up with them all the time. So if he can tell them premium, 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 like he does, that's where they usually end up going. So shout out to my barber. Everybody always asks about him, like, yo, where's, where's Hefe at? Where's Anthony at? He's at the gym. Where the yeah, fuck else he is? Exactly. Exactly, dude. <laughs> he's so, working. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Everybody always wants to, like, think, oh, they're not homies anymore because he's not around. It's like, no, this motherfucker's in the gym. Yeah. That's that's the only place he is. Like, whenever, when do I see you? When at I work. At work. At work. When do I go to see you? When I need to go to your shop. I always trip out. I love this dude, but we always only see each other at, at the barbershop. So happens when you grind. Yeah, we're just grinding all day. <laughs> But, um, yeah, man, what, um, I'm trying to think back. What is like the most memorable moment between you and I? You and I? Yeah. We're digging deep with this, this series, bro. I want it to be a little different. Different. <laughs> um, to be honest, for me, is when I came home from my honeymoon and my car was completely wrapped. Yeah. I was. I thought that was the most fucking coolest thing ever. Yeah, that was dope. It was cool to be a part of that. As far as what a homie has done for me, I was like, holy shit, my whole fucking car wrap. Yeah. What do you mean? I don't even know what a car wrap is. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a cro he had a cross track. This was probably five years ago. Longer. This was Longer, before like, everybody. This is before the cross tracks were cool. Yeah. You that's know? when everyone thought I was a soccer mom for buying one. And then everyone fucking started lifting them. Yeah, so we did the wrap on it. You had to lift the method wheels and tires. Yeah, brand new car when we came, we came back. That was a pretty much honey, honeymoon gift, right? Yeah, that's what it was. It was like like a wedding slash honeymoon gift that not me, but Premium, you know, did for you. I was telling the guys or telling the vlog before we got in here that you got to be friends with your barber because they talk to everybody. You yeah. know what I mean? And I was like, you sent me so many clients, bro. Like, that was the last thing. That was like the least I could do. Well, that's what friends are for, right? Like, um, I believe in support those who support you. So in order for me to succeed and feel successful, I want my friends to feel, feel successful. Right. Right. You don't want to surround yourself with unsuccessful people. But then again, you also don't want to rise up and your friends don't come with you. Yeah. So 
at that point, the more business I can give you, the better I look because I'm like, okay, my friend's doing good. That means I'm doing good. Yeah. Or at least I could pretend. <laughs> <laughs> I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You know? I think that people who really grind from the bottom up who weren't gifted success will help others get up to the top. Yep. You know what I mean? Because. 100%. I, there's people I know that are super successful, but you know that their story is not the same as yours and I, where we were in the garage into our businesses. You know, they were kind of not gifted, but they were maybe, they had a relative that was rich or something. So they're not as appreciative of what they have, and they're never willing to lift somebody up. They're yeah. never willing to help a homie out. And I only surround myself with people who do that. But that's, that's where you as an individual will become stagnant if you aren't willing to... Um, help with someone else's success right you know what I mean um, otherwise no one will respect you right everyone's gonna look at you as oh that guy in the industry fuck that guy I don't want to help him right you know I don't support him yep. I'd rather support Daniel yep. he, anything I ask him for he helps me what what am I gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing you know yeah and that's how you grow if you don't have that then there's no point there's a gem right there turn your fucking business off yeah just like everyone else that quit up and down this fucking damn street. I know, you've seen it come and go. You know, and I, I say that all the time. I, like, in my career of being in the rap business, you see companies, like, start out of nowhere and gone the next day. You know what I mean? Like, it's just what it is. And you see these businesses open up and down the street and think it's in the competition. They're gone in a week, yeah. a year, a month, whatever it is. I hate, I hate when Daniel puts me on camera, by the way. She looks good. <laughs> the ball raising, we keep moving it up. Ain't no surprises here, they knew it was us. Apologies if I was doing too much, but I always came through in the clutch. I got faith restored, why you pushing the brakes? I ain't full of myself, boy, I'm full of mistakes. I came from humble and roots, I'm here to stand and deliver. Had no one gassing me up, except the man in the mirror. I used to work on my handles, and now it's handles of liquor. I write these songs in a dark room, the candle will flicker. I stay practicing heavy for when the game's on the line. It's yeah. like I'm not gonna buy them, but maybe one of you guys wanna buy them. <laughs> these are hard, bro. Well, see, all right, here, let me show you something else. You wanna come to camera? You wanna flex? The price on those. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> you think me, bro? Again, let me show you. What makes these 6,500? Tell me the story. What, what's the deal? Like why, do people, why do people want these? Yeah, these are. These are yeah. Like, yeah this wall. Tell, tell the camera. <laughs> First of all, let's see. Where's the production oh, five on these? Yeah, these came out in 2005. Uh, they're the Supreme collab, so you okay. know, anything Supreme yep. with the shoe. Or, I mean, most stuff, not the new stuff. Nike and Supreme, you know? That's yeah, yeah, but this is original DS. OG all, well, yeah, original box, everything. Wow, yeah, bro. never been worn. Yeah, never been tried on. Yeah, never, not even tried on. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll take them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll take the black ones. I bet you Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, so I, I've been in the sneaker game like my entire life, but I've never, you know, like I, I've never like, like been in the sneaker game where I was selling sneakers and it was like supporting like what I was doing every right. day or anything like that. But um, yeah, we were just blessed enough. Uh, me, Andrew, and our other buddy, we're, we were blessed enough last year where we we did, you know, we made a good amount of money. Yep. Um, with, uh, you know, we, we saved up. And, had a good and, flip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah we had we're flipping cars and, you know, we saved up enough money. Got a good flip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, we wanted something. We, we wanted like a brick and mortar that we can come to every day. And, right. yeah. and you know, like, you know, mainly like our, you know, in the future, we want to create jobs for other people. So that's, hey, yeah. you know, that's the, that's the, you know, I mean, it, it's also shoes and everything. And like, we have a passion for shoes, but you know, like in the future, I want somebody else eating. And like, you know, I want their family eating because right. like, because we started. Yeah, we hope to grow up a lot bigger than it is. Yeah. yeah. Too, you know, so. The name is right. Yeah. You know yeah. what no I mean? Kicks. Like there's, right. to me, it's like, it's so just perfect. Right. Yeah. Know? And what I think is, it's, it's, it's simple. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, just it's hard. Yeah. It, it's hard because. You know, like entrepreneurship was, you know, it's glorified like for the past decade. But you know, people don't know that like you work even more than an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. an entrepreneur. You know, yep. it's like you know, because I came into it thinking too, like you know, like oh, I'm gonna have all this extra time on my hands. Like I have way less time. We now. thought it was gonna be easy, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why so many people come and go. Is they get right. in the game, they they see all like. The coolness, yeah. But then they're, they're here until 10, 11 o'clock in the afternoon. Right. Sign up for this. Not even yeah. that. Like yeah. just, even like we have a small spot, but like just getting the store ready. We're like, 
we done like in two weeks. It was like two months just to like yep. paint, paint flooring, all, all of that. Yeah. So much little yeah. tedious like stuff that we had to go through, honestly. Yeah, but, and it's yeah. it's a lot, but it's all it's all part of it, you know. It's I'd rather it be like this and me. You know, washing dishes like yeah. you know, like I was like four five, years ago. For yeah. me, I, and I'm sure you guys feel it. Like how dope is it? Every day when you open the door and you walk in, you're like, damn, we dude, did. Dude, even yeah. now, we've been open for so, four months, and like I walk in, like damn, we own a shoe store. Yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, appreciate you. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. I know you got problems. Know you at the bottom. Know you took a loss today. Everybody want bottles. Living for a dollar. You just want bottles. Day. Tell me joy where it's hiding. Try to find it before I go all the way. Cause everybody got problems, everybody starving. Don't you go off the day? Yeah. All right, so just because I, I've been off camera, I haven't stopped going after my goals, you know. And the GTR was a car, obviously, you see the GTR um, right now, is a car that I've always wanted, you know, and I've always kind of passed up on it. There was, we bought other things and bought other vehicles, and I never never committed to the car i always wanted one though and uh recently a couple months back in october one popped up at a dealership which i'm glad i bought it when i did because these cars have been going up like everything else value wise uh, popped up at a dealership and i just i just knew it was the one it was gray it was like the same color as my r33 and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna do it so went and bought the car i kind of stayed quiet about it posted it on instagram once hasn't really been on video but uh, I think today's like the debut of it on the vlog and actually talking about the car. So, you know, stay consistent with your goals. If you want to get something, go after it no matter what, what it takes. You know, for me, it was uh, years of saying, hey, I want a GTR, I want a GTR, I want to get this car, I want to get this car. And anybody who knows me knows I talked about this car like all the time. So the fact that I got it, it's cool, you know, I love it. What up, guys? How you guys doing? Good, Good thank you. But, um, I love it and obviously other people love it so it's it's just it's an amazing car to be honest like I've drove a lot of cool cars and I just always enjoy the GTR it's kind of like comfortable it's fast it's all-wheel drive so I'm not worried about losing it like how it was in my Supra every time I floored it in the Supra I thought I was done and I once one time I was done I did crash the Supra but um, the GTR is it just feels like a stable car so Happy that I got it, happy that I could share it with you guys because it was a goal of mine. I talked about it on the channel a million times that I wanted to get a, an R35 and now I have one, you know? 33 years old, like I have my R33 and I have my R35. So just gotta get an R34. <laughs> I'm so tired of second guessing myself. Had to reevaluate, you know? Check on my health. Cause 2020 was a mess in itself. And all my plans went out the window in the flash. I know you felt what I felt. It's all a part of the process. I was still in the gym. Lost my passion for music. Had to feel it again. But now I'm back. And willing to win. Moving cautious like I'm walking with a drink that was filled to the brim. I've been on the phone with family just to make it sure they make it. Oh, you got presents? Oh, yeah, here. What size shoe do you wear? Ten. Ten? Ah, they don't fit them. <laughs> I was gonna give them to you, bro, but they don't fit you, so I'll keep them for myself. Uh, you don't really wear a ten and a half. I wear eleven, bro. Let's feel the end of his toe. <laughs> what? Are you judging me like that? He's out. What you think? He's the midnight. Oh shit. Oh shit is right. Websites do website stuff. Okay. This is how many products you have to load to the website. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen new products for the Outback. And then different colorways. Plus different colorways. Yeah. That's awesome. Dude. And then Corolla sedan, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six more products for that. Okay. For the 2020 plus Corolla sedan. That's awesome. And then the 18, 19 Corolla is gonna start doing stuff. Okay. Can you show me that um that honeycomb material, I want, I want to show that on the vlog. Like, which one? So these are some new... Okay, this, is this one, this one. <laughs> so these these are some new uh, this one's old. products that we wanted to start using within our lines of pre-cut vinyl overlays. So this right here, the transparent hexagon pattern. I think that's dope. So you can put that on your tail lights, headlights, and it's clear, so it's not really a tint, it's more of just a pattern, right? Okay. That's pretty sick. I like that. I think we can utilize that. And then you have this right here, which is like a honeycomb dimensional tint. It actually has some, a smoked feel to it also. 
So you get that, that visual effect on your tail lights. Or headlights. Headlights, or whatever, headlights. you know? And you know, I like to show this stuff on the vlog because I like to get your guys' feedback input. You see something you like, let us know in the comments. Um, this right here also, a little bit bigger pattern. Same as the other one, just bigger. I think that's pretty cool. And then we got red. Yeah, I don't got Woo! That's pretty hard, bro. I don't know how you can utilize that, but that's actually pretty cool. Red hexagon pattern film. And again, these, these would be cut into our pre-cut overlays. Just to give like something unique. You know, I, I feel like it's time for a little bit of change. This before. I think People love this, dude. The sparkly flake. See that? So we've done this on headlights and taillights. Some people love it, some people hate it, but it's just a cool option. Yeah. And then that, that's something I think we can utilize here. Carbon fiber smoked tint. So this is a transparent smoke. So you can tint your taillights with it. And that's and actually dark. Still have full light output, so light still does pass through it. That one's the dark one, so you need LED taillights for it. Got it. <clears throat> so this is the darkest film of the two, but you can see my fingers behind it. So light passes through it. You wrap your whole taillights in carbon fiber. Yeah. Hit me up, let's do it. This is crazy stuff. Yeah. So another like holographic film. Can you see it? It's pretty tight. I dig it. But do you guys have any feedback or anything on those? Let me know below. If you want to get your taillights or headlights wrapped, hit us up. Sales at Premium Auto Style. We'll talk directly to Anthony. editing the vlog here. It's the Camaro. Camaro vlog? Yeah. So this is the next one up. Just posted up the McLaren one today and that one, people like it. Yeah? yeah. It was a good video. Hey, man. Killed it. Hey, I appreciate that. I guess I get to keep my job. You do. So what we're doing here, I told you guys earlier, is like I'm shooting more of like a, I'd say more of a documentary series, kind of with what I have going on, my side of the business, because I don't find myself here at the shop as much as often as I used to. Um, so we're going to be filming a lot of what I have going on, whether that's outside of the shop or networking with other people, there's a dent on my 33 that was not there. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Wait, I mean, that's, that's a fair point Woo! to be distracted about, that's a dent. But Andy will be filming the docu-series and CJ over here will still be filming our day-to-day -day YouTube vlog, so that's the man making it happen there. We're gonna kind of close up the vlog here, but I think what I wanna really like speak on is is the foundation, and you and I spoke about this. Yeah. It's like, for me, I think, Rebuilding your foundation for me is recognizing the, the the weakness in what you have. You know, like I have a bunch of good stuff around me. My foundation was weak at a lot of times, right. so it's like it's easy to fail when when you're when you're when you're building on a weak foundation. Yeah, we talked about that the other day at Wix. Yeah, and I remember that conversation. That was a good conversation. And I don't feel like like I I, I have like a weak foundation. I, I feel like things have been always good, but you can recognize there's there's room for improvement. So part always... of like growing is realizing that there's improvement needed. Um, as a human, as a business owner, as a father, so as a content creator, you know, all of those things I've been really like diving into as a friend, you know, I want to give more to my friends yeah. um, and just, just be more authentic, more real and, and on a better foundation. So that's what this series is going to be about. That's how we're going to intro this is rebuilding the foundation, whether that be for my life, for my business, for my family, for my friends. That's what I'm working on here. So I hope you guys get to join this journey of of the growth and the changes and witness it as it happens because I know for me as I've changed my life in the last 30 to 60 days and I know that sounds like a short window but there's been massive improvements for me as a person in general so I look forward to just showing you guys what that's like and, and uh, you know maybe inspire somebody to kind of look at their foundation because like I said I have a bunch of great things that have happened in my life I've always had God in my life he's always showed favor but my foundation was a little weak so you know, it's just, it's, it's one thing to, to know it, it's another thing to admit it, and then the third thing is, how do you grow from it? So that's what we're working on. Together, we're gonna do that. Adrian's gonna grow, we're gonna grow together, we're gonna grow this business. But today, right now, we're gonna go cruise. We're gonna go take the 33 out. We're gonna go away, we're gonna go away. Let's go, <laughs> take the 33 out. Hey, dude, it's crazy, cause like, just, I could put these shades on, like, just, like, I could see, I feel the stress you have. Oh, I mean, like, he's seeing life I through put, my lens. Yeah, I put these on, like, damn, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. I'm sure I gotta take these off. <laughs> well, we'll hop in. Let's roll. Are you really? Yeah, no, let's go. Let's hop in. Let's, let's do it. Yeah.